All right, everyone, welcome to this Minecraft video here on the channel. Within this video here, we're going to be talking about commands yet again. And as you can see here, I have a set of armor on display here. And this is a set of Neverite armor with the silence armor trim applied in it using a diamond. So this is a diamond trim right here. A very, very cool set of armor, I must say. But the reason why I'm showing you this is that I'm going to be teaching you how to use commands in Minecraft to give armor items with the trims already applied. So the idea is, is that you won't, the player will not need to assign the trim to the armor because it will already be present, basically. So uh, when we're actually using the command here, we can obviously set what kind of armor we're using. And then we can also say what like trim pattern we want to apply and also what material the trim is actually made out of. So this should work for Minecraft 1.21 and above and it should work for the upcoming release Minecraft 1.21.2 as of this video. So with these two commands right here I'm going to be showing you this first one gives direct to the player as you can see here. And as you can see, we have a Neverite chest plate with the silence armor trim upgrade actually on it already, as you can see right there. So um, it's pretty cool. And uh, this second command here is very, very similar. This just spawns an item entity instead that can actually be, be that can actually be picked up by the player. So um, as you can see here, they are both the same item. Okay. Now, we are getting this to work because we're using a trim data component in Minecraft to assign this data to these armor items. Now, when it comes to the trims in general, you need to actually figure out what pattern ID or trim ID you need to assign in the component to actually inject this data into the armor items. So, we need to figure out what those like trim or pattern IDs actually are. So these are all the trims currently in the game. And if I select the silence armor trim, for example, uh, you'll be able to see the name of that particular template, the smithing template under the ingredients. And whatever the name is of the armor trim is the ID of that pattern. So in this case, the ID for this one is going to be silence. And if we look at this one right here, the ID of this one will be wild. And this, the ID of this one will be rib. And this one will be, will have an ID of shaper. Okay. So that is how you find out the ID for that trim or the pattern you actually want to assign. And without further ado here, I'm going to go into a text editor so I can show these commands in more detail. All right, everyone, we're now inside the text editor right here. And these are the two commands we're going to be going through in this part of the video. And these commands will be in the description of the video. So you can copy and paste them into your Minecraft and have a look for yourself. But this first command right here is the give command where we're using us as the player we are giving to. And here we also set the armor piece we want to give. So in this case, we're doing Minecraft colon Neverite chestplate as the armor item we want to do. And because we're using a give command, we use the square brackets here to assign components to the item. And this is where we're using the trim data component in Minecraft. So Minecraft colon trim equals, and then you have to provide two sets of data, pattern and the material. So the pattern is where you use the trim or the pattern ID you want to use. So in this case, we're doing Minecraft colon silence. And the material is the item ID of the material you want to use. So in this case, I am using diamond, but it could be gold. It could be iron. It could be also copper and loads of other different item materials that can be used with the smithing templates in general. And that is it. It's actually that straightforward. The trim data component is very, very simple to use. And the second command right here is summoning the item that can be picked up by the player. 
and it's pushing it two blocks above the command block. And within the item data here, we are doing the same Neverwrite chest plate ID as the item. We are doing count as one, so it is one item. And this is where we are setting the data components for the item. And we're doing exactly the same data with the Minecraft colon trim. Okay. It's exactly the same data as this command above. So hopefully this helps you out and you've learned something new with commands. And hopefully this component will allow you to do what you need to do. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching this video right here. If this did help you out. The like, subscribe on the video would be very much appreciated. And Make sure that you hit notification bell so you're notified of any future videos here on the channel. If you want to follow my socials, they're on screen and in the description. And if there's any other tutorials you want me to do, let me know in the comments down below and I may do it for a future video. Stay happy and healthy, everyone. Hopefully you have a nice time with everything. I also wanted to tell you guys that I have also joined the social platform Blue Sky. So that's I'm gonna, that's a new social platform for me for the channel. So if you prefer to follow on there, by all means do. And hopefully I'll see some of you on there since it's a new social platform for me. But uh, anyway, stay tuned for more videos, everyone. See you next time.